Now, beginning Monday next week, public service vehicle operators will resume carrying passengers in full capacity. This is after officials from the Ministry of Transport and stakeholders in the transport industry agreed to comply with the Ministry of Health guidelines on COVID-19. And as Josh Ansari reports, the government says it will prioritize the Matatu drivers and conductors in the COVID-19 vaccination program. PSV operators will resume carrying passengers in full capacity Monday next week. The Ministry of Transport says although the COVID-19 cases are on the rise, there is a need to cushion stakeholders in the transport sector from incurring further losses. We are in agreement that the Federation and associations will immediately introduce self-regulation that will allow full capacity from Monday, 9th August. The Matatu operators have been operating at 60% since the first COVID-19 case was announced in the country in March last year. And as discussed today, and we are in agreement, the Matatu the public service vehicle operators are indeed a high-risk population. And we have raised their request and please again to the task force that they be reconsidered again as we, fa as we go into the prioritization of our frontline workers in the coming days. The public transport stakeholders have agreed to observe the Ministry of Health guidelines in combating the dreaded coronavirus. Because the government has given us some leeway and they have understood our plea, it is incumbent upon us in the industry to do the following one. Every vehicle that every passenger who gets into your vehicle must have a mask. Two, every vehicle must carry a sanitizer. In what sounds as a reprieve to passengers, the Matatu owners have promised to reduce the hiked bus fare starting next week. Nauli lazima itakuwa ni ila affordable, lazima irudi chini, ndio tuweze kubeba vile tulikuwa tunabeba watu kitambo lakini tusisahau kwamba naye mafuta imeongezeka sana sijui kama mnajua bei ya mafuta imeenda kiasi gani kwa hivyo tungependa kueleza kwamba nauli tutajaribu tunavyoweza hiyo nauli irudi chini through the revision of the measures, the transport sector looks forward to reemploy thousands of Kenyans who lost their jobs and we believe that uh, this measure will assist the industry resuscitate itself, re-employ the people, and you know for every employment there are a chain reaction to it, and you know that we have been moving the economy. However, the directive has elicited mixed reactions among Kenyans, with the majority worried the move may lead to a surge in COVID-19 cases. Usafiri, uh, usafiri wa, wa magari ya matatu kuwekwa kwa capacity uh, ninaona kungali na risk kwa sababu ugonjwa wa, wa covid ingali kwa ukubwa na tunaomba kama serikali ingeendelea kuweka mikakati kwanza kwa muda mfupi ili tuone kwamba huu ugonjwa umerudi chini ili hali ya ile, ile target ya, ya vaccination naona kwamba hapo kuna shida kidogo kwa sababu kama corona kweli iko na tunaamini iko hawezi fungua waanze wasemwe watu wasafiri watu warudi kwa kazao sawa sawa na vaccine ijafika. Benda kwa maoni yangu serikali iangalie pia na wana matatu kwa upande ya nauli kwa wale wasafiri wanaosafiri sehemu za mbali waweze kuunda bei ili rudi hali ya kawaida. Capacity ya gari hii ni kitu ya muhimu sana. Kwa sababu tulikuwa tumesumbuka sana hii piasa ilikuwa imekuwa ngumu. Na hivi sasa vile tumeona kuanzia Monday hichi matatu ijayo. Mimi nimeona hii kitu itakuwa tu sawa kabisa. With the public transport expected to start carrying full capacity starting Monday next week, the Matatu operators and the circles will be expected to adhere to the COVID-19 measures. Failure to, their circle will be suspended. Josh Onsare, TV47, Ministry of Transport, Nairobi.